I'm Giannis Patelis with Meat Eater, and I'm gonna show you how to remove the rear quarter or ham off of a white-tailed deer. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut out the skirt stake here. You don't have to to get the rear quarter off the carcass, but it's gonna help um, you see more and see what I'm working on. So I'm just gonna slice down right along the edge. And basically here, you're just gonna find the edge of the ribs. Follow those. Same thing here, these are the edge of the end of the short ribs, and just cut by those. So I remove the skirt steak so that you can see a little bit more what I got going on here. Next step, find your pelvic crest. This is your pel pelvis right here. You can hear it. I'm just gonna work down that pelvic bone. And again, just using probably the first inch or two of the knife blade, not trying to hack at the bone too much. That's gonna dull the blade up. But I am trying to trace that bone and I'm going down until I hit the ball joint. As you can see there, it's popping out. Now I'm gonna carve along the pelvis just a little bit farther to sort of open this up a little bit so you can see the ball joint a little better. And again, paying close attention to stay on the pelvis here. Okay, so there's your ball joint, ball socket. And basically the only thing you really need to pop here is this um, tendon that connects the ball to the socket. And that's pretty easy. Tip of the knife, just get in there, slices right through it, and you can see that immediately lets the rear quarter sort of fall open. It's still a little tricky here because you have the sort of the cup of the ball joint and you're gonna have to cut around that. There's just a little bit of connective tissue. And again, to keep your knife sharp, if you feel too much resistance, don't cut there. You know, find, find the soft spot, but don't go too far into the meat. Okay, once I've found and freed the ball joint, I'm gonna now find that bone that goes from the ball joint up and out towards the spine. And again here, I'm only using the first couple inches of my knife blade because I don't want to go too deep because I'm then I'm going to leave meat behind on the pelvis. So it connects to the ball joint. You can feel it in there. I usually find it with my finger. I put my knife tip just on the meat side of it and then just trace that bone all the way up. You see that there? Now the reason I didn't go any farther is because the pelvis curves back this way towards the spine. And if you just go straight down from this bone, you're gonna leave quite possibly at least a hamburger's worth or more attached to the pelvis. So now, as I'm gonna continue down, I'm gonna be very mindful that I'm working towards the pelvis, towards the spine, as I'm coming down. And again, I'm mostly just working with the first inch or two of my knife blade. And again, this is where that flexible, thin tip comes in handy because it lets you work around. The, uh, you know, different angles and different bumps that you're going to encounter in here. Another spot that trips people up a little bit is this little knob right here. It's attached to the pelvis. And as you're coming around it, you kind of get stuck on it because it's just kind of, it protrudes out. Just take your time, again, with a flexible knife tip, work around it. And then again, you'll find where it gets flat and you can start working down. I am using the Benchmade Meat Crafter knife, which was made by uh, the folks here at Meat Eater, Steve and Ranella, in a collaboration with uh, Benchmade. Um, works perfect for this application. You can see by being able to trace along the pelvis, 
using the flex of the knife, using the nice skinny tip of the knife, I was able to get a nice clean separation between the ham and the pelvis here. There's really nothing left. If this was left out in the field, the uh, crows and ravens and magpies would be pissed because I didn't leave them much. Now, once you've made it all the way down, at the end, all that really is there left that's hanging on is um, just a little bit of that uh, silver skin and fat that's basically on the top of the rump of the animal. You can just cut through that. And you have a rear quarter removed from a white-tailed doe. To get your meat crafter by Benchmade, go to themeateater.com, benchmade.com, or your local shield.